All right, guys, so a little bit of a bittersweet day out here. My trusty old air hose, uh, the Goodyear American-made one that I bought in like 2014 or something, like four years ago, has finally died. Uh, it has a little bit of life left in it, but I think some of the, whatever the technical term is, like the interior cording or whatever, has failed, and there's this giant, like, cancerous looking bulge towards the front of the air hose. So this hose holder, I made this uh, out of pretty much just junk material on hand a couple summers ago. And I built this because I didn't really have money for a proper hose reel. Like I guess I could have bought one, but it would have taken some budgeting and I really just wanted something to get the uh, hose off the floor. So this is what I came up with. It wasn't bad, but once I put a proper hose reel on my welding trailer, I uh, <laughs> really wanted to look for the shop too. Man, I already cut these welds really deep and they're still holding. Ah! Put the torch or the plasma or something if it wasn't right next to the oil tank. I guess I could always just move the oil tank, but why spend 30 minutes doing manual labor when I can dick around with tools all day? Oh, oh, oh my. Okay, worked too well. Oh, this is welded to the thing. Oh crap, oh crap, I totally forgot. Oil tank is part of this. Epic fail. Epic, epic fail. Oh, this thing's heavier than it looks. All right, so, as mentioned, I really, really like these reels. This is the same exact one that's on the uh, service trailer with the exception if it has a three ace hose instead of a half inch like I put on that for carbon art gouging. What's really great about these, you can see it's really just uh, one piece which slides over this area here and it's held in place with a single snap ring. So all this is user serviceable. This is just a little bronze it looks like part. And I mean, you could turn one of these on a lathe or you know, really there's only two holes in it that actually matter. So honestly, I bet you could make your own one of these with a, with a drill bit or something. And these, these are just O-rings. So it's really nice because this whole thing is user serviceable. It's a very simple design. This just goes over that. It seals on those O-rings and this is what allows the spinning action. And then in here, just a exposed spring. Uh, you know, swivel fitting here. So it's great because, all, like I said, all this stuff is user serviceable. Like we can, if this starts leaking, pop it off, change the O-rings, whatever. I haven't had the one on the service trailer long enough to talk about this, but I really think this reel is gonna last and that's why I went back to and bought a second one uh, for here in the shop. Now what's cool about this is we can, we can sort of clock this. You can see these bolts here. We can put it like any number of different ways or maybe it's a set number, maybe like two or four ways. Uh, so we're actually, we have to loosen these screws and tilt this up. So the hose is feeding perpendicular from where it's gonna mount on those boards. Check it out, everyone got this brand new hose reel installed. I wanted to mount it over here. Uh, however, I found out that the base of it was like wider than these boards. So epic fail on my part for not, you know, measuring that out beforehand. So this is ultimately where I put it. And I feel like this is in the long run a better idea anyway, because if we look, that's about as centrally mounted over the shop as it gets. So really can't complain too much. As an added benefit, not too difficult, just come up here and grab this thing, which is good. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I thought about lowering this, you know, we can just sort of release the bolts on this thing, which act as a clamp and bring this whole thing down like a foot or so. The problem with that is I'd walk into it, which is bad, but on the flip side, other people would also walk into it, which is hilarious. And uh, so I, I thought about it, but I figured I'll just leave this up here. I mean, this is, like I said, it's about as centrally located as it gets. I really, really like this thing. So like everything else in a shop type environment, took longer than I thought that it would, but we got it in there. I think it's gonna work out really well. I think it's gonna last and um, really like these hose reels. Haven't had any problems yet.
you know, it just mounted one and, you know, other one just put on like a month ago. But still, whatever the case, uh, thanks for watching. That's your random video of the day. I'll put some links in the video description below to where anybody who's interested can check out this beautiful Milton Hose Reel. And uh, yeah, how about that? One more step to keeping the shop cleaner-ish. So thanks for watching. Cheers.